everybody, this is Clarine from Inrini's room. Today we're going to make a twist and fold card right here. This is kind of a, a, a woman's theme. Uh, the one we're going to make is more of a, a man type card. We're putting some fish in there. Uh, but they're basically going to be made the same way. You just change the embellishments to your likings as you like them. Um, so let's get started. Okay. This is what you're going to need. You're going to need a piece of plain cardstock for the body of your card, and that is 10 by 7, which I already cut ahead of time. You're also going to need three uh, pattern paper, just plain paper. You're going to need three that are five and a half square. And then out of pattern paper, you're going to need two that are uh, five and a quarter square and also uh, an additional patterned paper. I cut mine out of a different pattern and it's five by three and a quarter but you could also use the same that you did for the other one. So that's what we're going to need. So let's get started. Alright, you're going to take your card and you're going to score diagonally from the left corner up to the right. Now to do that, I'm putting it on this scoreboard where I have a line drawn down the center. I just used a magic marker. The idea is to um, have a place to line up angles. So I'm putting the little corners right on that black and then I'm just scoring from tip to tip, right like that. Then we're going to turn the paper and we're going to score, we're going to put a little dot going from the left hand corner. We're going to put a dot in at two and a half inches. And you can erase this marker, so uh, be sure and use pencil. And then in that same corner, we're going to come down. And we're going to mark that at two and a half. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, uh, we're going, going, going to not do that. We're going to go from the left corner, mark it at two and a half, like I, like I did. And then come down here to your right hand corner and bring that in at two and a half. Okay, and just put your dot right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect those with your uh, on the scoreboard. So line them up again with the little dots and crease that. So you have two score lines on this basic thing. All right. So what I have made here is a valley fold. So I'm going to go back and fold backwards to make that a mountain fold and then burnish that real good. We're going to be using a lot of layers for this so you want to be sure and burnish along the way. And then pick that up so that you have your bottom on the bottom and you see these two little mountain tops. We are going to fold this back and that's going to become the base of your card. So you want to make sure these match up here. Hold it real tight and then you want to line up your bottom with your scoreboard, with your phone tool. Okay, and then also on this edge over here. So flip it over and do it a couple times because you're going to get a little bit of curling with your paper, but that's going to straighten out later. Don't worry about it. So there you have the base for your card. Okay, now for the part that's going to go on the inside there, we're going to use the plain um, cardstock. Now these are the ones that I cut that are five and a half by five and a half. Now this is where you're going to make that. We're going to use the left hand corner. We're going to make those uh, measurements that I tried to do before. You're going to measure in and put a mark at one and seven eighths. 
and a little sixteenth. So you're actually making a line just before that tiny line before the number two. Staying in that same corner, you want to go from that corner down and you want to mark it at one and a quarter. So you put a little dot there. Let's do that on all three of them while we have them here. Left hand corner, in at that tiny dot just before the two. And then we're going down and at one and a quarter we're putting a little dot. Same over here. Don't worry about marking this up because you can erase it. And there's one and a quarter down. And then we're going to bring in your paper cutter. And we're just going to cut that little corner off. Just line those up. Uh, I have a Fisker, so I have that little metal um, wire down there. So I just line those up hold it down and slice it. And then from that mark that was the um, just under the two inch, I'm going to take that and come down to the opposite little uh, tip of that other one. Now save this little piece that you're cutting off because you're going to use that as part of your uh, layers. So hang on to that, set it aside, and we're going to cut the other two the same way. You just line those up. And remember, you're cutting in um, from the edge, so you want to actually lift up your holder so that you can just cut across that way. And then I'm lining up the tip and where that other line was. And then here's the third one. Just cut across there. that dot with the other edge. It goes like that. So I'm setting this one aside also because you're going to use those. So there's the three and the way these are going to fit on is one is going to go in the front, the second is going to go on the inside uh, like that, the inside there. And then this is going to be a page for a sentiment if you want to write something. And that's all going to get glued down right like that. So now we're going to cut out the second set. These are the, uh, the patterned uh, card stocks. And we're going to you just hang on to that other third little triangle from those uh, <laughs> the first three that we did. You'll use those for something else. It's always a good scrap to hold on to. All right, so the pattern paper, these are the ones that are two that are five and a quarter by five and a quarter. So for these, we're going to work on that same left-hand corner and we're going to come in and mark at one and three quarters. And it's kind of... I'm going to make a bigger fat dot just because it's hard to see on the paper, but you'll probably be able to uh, see when I, when I cut it. And then we're going to come down in that same corner, we're going to come down one and a quarter and mark that. And I'm going to mark this guy at the same time. So I'm coming in at one and three quarters. Same corner, I'm coming down one and a quarter. Like that. And then we're going to cut those off the same way. Lining up the little dots. And then that part where we came in on the top, again, is going to go down to this point on the other edge. Second one. Put that in there. And then from the top where we had gone in one and three quarters, come on down to this other tip. 
Okay, so there's the second. And what these are going to do is they are going to fit on top of the, the solid one that you had cut. And they'll go in this way. Okay, now we're going to cut something. Um, those two pieces that you had cut off of that first set, those are going to go down here on the outside and then also on the inside, if you want them to. Sometimes I leave them off, just depends on what pattern you're working with or uh, what you want to do. And then to go on top of that one is this last little piece that was cut. And I'm going to cut it from top, you know, from tip to tip. The important thing is that you lay this so that it's diagonal with the, the uh, short edge up at the top. You want to be sure that you start your cut in the right hand corner so that this will come out right. So I'm going to put it in the right hand corner and then also down here. Now if you were using patterned paper that had like uh, dimensionals or you had writing or something, you would have to cut two of these. So I'm going to cut that and these are going to go right here like that, and this one is going to go on the inside, Let's see. like that. So be sure that you dry fit everything before you glue it down, and that's going to be the next step, is gluing all these parts and pieces in. Now you can use pretty much whatever you want. I prefer using a tacky glue just because if you are trying to get something to fit, I like to have a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm going to start just putting these down. Whoa, too much glue there. And that's going to be centered right across like that. It's about a quarter of an inch in there. And this one is going to go on top. You can also use uh, score tape on this if you wanted, or even runner tape. It's a pretty fun little pattern. You can do whatever you like. Put that down there. Don't forget to burnish. Just want to make sure that glue gets out of there evenly. Then I'm going to open this up so that I can get the inside in. Now, the important thing that you are lining up is the edges. Don't worry about this fold. It's not going to show. What you want to have is about a quarter of an inch up here and down the side. So see how I uh, angle that in there so that this is nice and even. And I'll glue that in here. Whoa. And then dry fit this in there, the same thing. It doesn't matter on this edge because that's going to be hidden. But you want to have a nice quarter inch on the top and on the side. And that's looking good. gives me a little wiggle room. I like this art glitter glue because it does set, but it does give you a little bit of wiggle room as well. And so then I'm going to open this up and do this front section as well. Dry fit it, make sure I've got the right side going. You see how I did that? This is our card. This is the front. I've already glued the back. So what I'm doing now is I'm gluing this section. So I'm opening this up so that I can have a flat surface. And I'm dry fitting this on to make sure I glue the right side down. And that looks good. So I'm going to put my glue on here. Okay. 
And don't worry if you get a few glue prints on here, you know the glue always dries clear. Put that here. And then the other one that's going to go in here, let's dry fit that. Yep, looking good. So put that on here. As you can see, it doesn't take a lot of glue to hold this together. flat. If you don't use your bone folder or something to smooth it out, it gets real lumpy. Okay, so there we go. Looking good. Now, I know that when I get done with this, I'm going to be tucking in a little embellishment. So I'm going to secure right here with a strip of glue. I don't want it to be open. You can uh, actually do this with score tape as well, which probably would be nice if I remembered to put it out here. So I'm just going to set that there. And I see that I have a little dot, so I'm just going to erase that. Just to clean it up a little. So while that is sitting there, nicely that's coming together. I think I'm going to suggest to you that you use the score tape because then it's done. You put a strip in there and then it's it's all done. So while that is setting, I'm also going to put um, that other sentiment page on this side. And that again goes like that. So I've got to glue that down. around there. Looks good, like that. And that glue is starting to set up in there too. But again, I would suggest that you use uh, quarter inch score tape, just because then it's done. You don't have to wait around. Okay, nicely. Shaping up nicely. And then on the uh, front side now, I'm going to put this edge so that I can match the inside. This will go here. And of course, as you can see, since you know what the measurements are going to be, you can cut any kinds of colors and patterns and stuff that you want. This is a great project for scraps. That's going to go up there. A quarter of an inch. Sticking up there, put a little glue there. Oop, too much, so watch this. I'll just smoosh it out and it disappears. Alright, then I'm going to put this over here. Now, the paper that I used is a, a Graphic 45 and it's the Safari Adventure, which I thought was, was pretty good. It's hard to make cards for men sometimes. They, I think they feel left out because we're, we're getting all so easy with florals and whatnot for women. So this will this will work really good. I'll put that on there. Okay. Now the fun part. Let's make that little um, sentiment card earlier. This is from the other card. So we're going to make another one of those. Now I. I've got my sentiment and all of my little embellishments off of um, the internet. I go to um, clip art and then I just bring it into Photoshop and then I can make them the colors and the sizes that I want. So what I did was I uh, found this little sentiment wishing you a year full of all the good things in life. So pretty much it could be a birthday card but it can be anything you want. So I'm going to glue this down. And I'm going to glue this on the back. And I wanted to put the fish in the middle, so I made one side bigger than the other. 
And you can see there's a little edge on here that I'm going to cut off. I'm going to trim that off. a corner rounder and see I got the fish kind of in the middle I'm happy with that so I'll round the corners this little uh, sentiment card is about two by three you of course can make any size you want so that rounds my corners and I'm just going to put a dash of distress ink on there I didn't burnish any of my other edges because I knew that my embellishments had a little white um, whiteness around them so I didn't want to do that but in this case I like doing it on all my sentiments so I'm going to put a little bit of gathered twigs distressed ink on there okay. and I'll put a little hole in the top just kind of in the center don't want to get it into the wording but I right, like that now I'm going to put a little bit of frizzy looking stuff on there. This is called eyelash yarn and I cut three strips about six inches because I have big fingers and I am only going to put a little fringe at the top of this but you have to be able to work with it so um, I put that on there. And what I have here is a little uh, other piece of not wire it's kind of a heavy string and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half so I have a little loop and then I'm going to stick this through the middle this is more like a tool than anything else I'm going to stick it through there and bring that up here and the reason I'm doing that is so that I can put a little tension there and get everything through this hole. And I'm usually with the um, uh, good side up, don't feed it from the back, feed it from the front. You go right through, pull your eyelash through, give yourself a great big circle back there. Find the center and then you get rid of your little guide wire. And then with your index finger and your thumb, you just want to pick up these ones that you put in the front. Whoops. See, I need a little more space to get those fingers in there. There we go. And then I just pull it through that loop. Like that. And just tug at it. And then clip it off about an inch or so, wherever you want. And then you have kind of a fun little... Uh, top for your sentiment card. That's going to go inside there. And this back here, oh good, this is glued down. This is, is holding its place now. That's where we're, I'm, I had encouraged you to use the score tape. All right, so now what you have to do is just start decorating. And I like to use these little pop-up um, things. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put and this is going to be totally up to you. I'm going to put these on the back. You don't have to. Some of them I may not put a pop-up on. I might just glue them down. But for right now, I'm going to be putting pop-ups on here. And this is going to go that direction. So this is a good, good one to put in the front. And you know with pop-ups, you just peel off the back and stick it down. I want it kind of near the, the bottom. I'm, I'm keeping out of my uh, white. I just want it on the pattern part. And then just press it down. And then I'm going to put one of these little fish baskets next to that. And I think I'll probably need about three of these on there. And don't get too crazy when you're putting on your pop-ups. 
because sometimes you might want to slide something underneath it, and if you've got pop-ups all over the place, there's no place to slide. Come on, get on there. And I'm going to put that. I'm going to kind of tuck it under there a little bit. See how I'm working it under, over, so it looks like it's hid in the bushes. And then we'll put, I'm going to put another one on the inside before I get too far. I'm going to put this one going that way, just because I like the looks of it. And the fun thing about these are that I, I can make as many cards in this um, style as I want because I make my own embellishments. So if I wanted to make another one, I would have it without having to go to the store and try and find them again. So I'm going to put him right in here. There we go. And I think I'm going to put my other little sentiment card. It's called, You Make the World a Better Place. So I'm just going to put that up here kind of put, tuck part of it underneath the little basket there and kind of look like it's sitting in the grasses. And I'm going to do that. Oh, I don't think I'm going to use pop -up. Yeah, I'm going to use pop on that too. Okay. <laughs> pop -ups. okay. And off they come. kind of eyeball how I want it to look like it's sitting in the grasses without covering up the words. There we go. Kind of like that. All right. Now I've got some fish. I've got some different kinds of fish. When I make my embellishments, I always make two. I make one that goes one direction and the other goes the other direction. And that's because sometimes I have to glue them together if I'm working on a project where if you open it up, you'll see the back of a fish. You don't want to see the white, you want to see the fish. In this case, I'm not doing that, so I've got lots of fish that I can place around. And I'm just going to put them like they're jumping around <clears throat> on my card. I'll put one up there. And... I think I'll have one swimming around down here at the bottom. Yeah, this guy. And I'm not going to put him on a pop-up. I'm going to just glue him on. Whoa. That's way too much glue. And I'm going to just stick him under here like he's out on the grass. There we go. There you go. Starting to take shape, and then I'll just finish up the inside. This is where my sentiment is going to go, so I'm going to tuck that in there. But I still have room for some more of these fishes. So I'm going to put those around here. Yeah, I know probably fish aren't going to be swimming on the grass, but a little poetic license here. Kind of at an angle. And then I'm going to save one for the back of my card. Just, just to kind of tie the theme in. So I'm going to put that back here. Like that. And then I think I've got room for no, I don't want to cloud it up with too many. Yeah, I'm going to stick one more in there. I'm going to put, I'm not going to use a pop-up. I'm going to glue this one as well because I'm tucking it out behind where there's already pop-ups. So I'll put him right here. And you know, I think that's about all I need to do to that. So this is what we've got. We've got the front of our card. 
you can still see that there's a um, another. Whoops, I got a pop pop up on there. There's another uh, section up here where if you wanted to, you could put you could do more than one sentiment. And you could put more stuff in here, or in the case of sending to the grandchildren, you can put some money in there. They like that. So there's the front. Here's our inside place for sentiment. And then there's the back. And there you have it. Okay, thanks for stopping by.